So, Mike, what's, what's going on today? What happened? We, uh, we got a fight date. We got a fight date. We got a fight opponent. We got Ma Madison Square Garden, June 24th, Bellator pay-per-view. Headlined by Chael Sonnen, Vanderlei Silva, Matt Mitrione, Fedor Emelianenko. Phone's blowing up. Everybody <laughs> trying to figure out what's going on, if it's true, what's going on. So we got a lot of stuff that we got done today. We are building the online presence. Um, my man Myron at Awesome Sauce, we have uh, done a ton of stuff in the last 48 hours to reach my online uh, audience, the people who yearn for and are feeding off of all of the content I'm bringing them. So when you start bringing it to them, you got to keep it going, consistency. So we're working on that. Um, about to grab some lunch and grind for about the next uh, six hours. So you need to be an entrepreneur or a wantrepreneur. It's up to you. Let's do it. Who are you fighting? Fighting Brent Primus. Uh, fighting a guy named Brent Primus. He's 7-0. and um, Has five finishes. He's got a heavy right hand. He's got a good cardio. Um, How are you going to beat him? Honestly he, was, honestly, he was me. He was who I was five years ago. He was young, undefeated, hungry. So at this point in my career, with where I'm at, um, you know, I am technically where Eddie Alvarez was, you know, four years ago, five years ago when I snuck in there, came in and beat him. So you got to stay on your toes. It doesn't matter what his, what his record is. It doesn't matter um, how good or not good he is. You got to stay on your, on your game because uh, it's the times when you think you got it in the bag that things slip. So I say uh, I'm always going for that first round finish. So I'm going to pour it on him in the first round. Let's see if he can hang with me. If he can't, if I got a knockout, if it's got to be a knockout drag out for 25 minutes, I'll do that too. But I think, uh, I think we'll get the finish at Madison Square Garden, the world's most iconic sports arena. It's big stuff, man, and I'm excited about it. Um, so I got a hard, uh, hard training camp, hard next couple months to getting after it. So let's go. So what's going on with that shirt business? Oh, so inside we had four shirt orders last night. I did a Facebook Live. Did a Facebook Live for 30 minutes. We got four shirt orders, so that means we we uh, we raised eighty dollars for. Um, Book them in Nashville. So eighty dollars will make will buy about one hundred and sixty books for under uh, underprivileged youth right in Nashville or um, financially financially hardshipped children in Nashville. I actually well a good a friend of mine, Big Cat Scott Path, um, who uh, has been a friend of mine now for years. He told me about, uh, told me that he partnered with insight.me and I love these short-term t-shirt companies because uh, it's always, you always just set a campaign, it gives people long enough to know that they're, you know, you're raising money for something, uh, they print the shirts, they ship them out for you, so it's a lot easier when, it, when you're as busy as I am and you got all this stuff going on, all these moving parts, simplicity is key, you know, speed, simplicity, surround yourself with the right kind of people and that's what you can do. Good. No, I had the pizzas. Hi, how, how are you? How many? Uh, it was two pizzas, two the Angela's. Angela gluten free? Yes, yes. Angela gluten free. Do you come here often? Um, sometimes. I mean, today, uh, today we're splurging a little bit. I don't usually eat pizza for lunch, but uh, today we got a lot of work to do, so we're gonna get after it. Best I gluten free pizza. Make, right? Yes. Thanks. Thank you. Best gluten-free pizza in San Diego, <laughs> bar none. Possibly best gluten-free pizza in the entire world. So it got ranked uh, best pizza in the entire world by bestpizzasintheworld.com, 2017. Set it back. Yeah, Google it. Um, Doesn't mean it's healthy. Right now? Uh, we're just trying to grind. We're just trying to get after it. <laughs> uh, Is there anything you want to tell your fans to look up or something? Um, well, I mean, I think we've, you and I, we've, we've, oh, shh. we've done a ton of stuff over the last week and a half. I mean, uploaded probably 15 different videos to Instagram, YouTube, Facebook. I announced yesterday that I am moving to Nashville, Tennessee, uh, to plant some roots and, uh, I'm excited about that and, um, yeah, I'm excited to see what the future holds. Um, 
Um, isn't that one video that one you want people to see? No. Uh, the, the, the the church one. The U version thing? Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't really know what to say. I should just say go to my Facebook. Yeah, I just posted that U version, um, U version story called Confident. It's a uh, almost three minute long video about confidence and my uh, my journey, my inner monologue, my ups, my downs, my my winnings, my shortcomings, and all that kind of stuff. They kind of they U version who is the parent company of the Bible app, the most downloaded app in the entire world, the, the app with the most, um, the app with the most languages in the entire world, the Bible app by Uversion, came and did a, a little story on me, a little piece on me, <clears throat> so it was actually really, really cool, it just came out yesterday, so um, go to my Facebook page, it's on, on my Facebook page, and it's just called Confident, a Uversion story, and that doesn't inspire you if that doesn't get you pumped up i don't know what is going to i got nothing for you if that doesn't get you pumped up i got nothing for you what do you think about these hilarious comments on the post from mma fighting for your fight announcement well they're saying read them to me okay <laughs> um first time in a long ass time i did do a google search on a fighter built her with a weird ass title fight for chandler yeah <sighs> hey man it's better than it's better than fighting Patricky Pitbull again. Um, <laughs> have to knock that dude out real quick. But uh, no, I mean Brent Primus, you can't you can't overlook him. He's undefeated. He's young. He's hungry. He's where I was, you know, five years ago. So um, he's dangerous. I've seen him fight. I've known that I was going to fight him eventually. I've known that I was going to. I knew that he was going to be one of my future fights. So man, it doesn't matter when, where who uh, you have to go out there and you're really performing against yourself you know I mean I'm the best that I've ever been and we've seen that in my last four fights uh, going out there and finishing three of my last four opponents and beating Benson Henderson who's a consensus top 10 lightweight one of the best lightweights to ever do uh, one of the best lightweights to ever compete in mixed martial arts so um, for me it's about just focusing on the task at hand getting better I'm excited I'll, I'll leave for training camp here and Three weeks. I got a lot of work to do between now and then. Um, so between now and then, I'm gonna get better. And then training camp, stay laser focused as always. Oh, now oh, these are. Uh, this is what gets you. This will get you eight years in Bellator. Three belts. About to defend this baby right here. Is that actually old? I don't know, I doubt it. No. <laughs> about to defend this baby, uh about to defend this baby in June. June twenty fourth. Fight just got announced. So, Brent Primus. There it is. So do you actually have to Train give hard. back the belt or no, I ain't giving back the one. belt. No, I mean You ain't getting really the like... belt back, Bellator. Even if I did lose, I'm keeping it. It's gonna stay right here. You have to come and get it from me. <laughs> this one right here, this is this is how. This is the engagement photos. This is how happy I used to make my wife. Look <laughs> at that smile. Past heads. Look at that smile on her face. <laughs> now I'm joking. She still loves me. Big time. Mike, what just happened right now? Another lead. Another lead from the video. Russell Britton. Who is this guy? I don't know. He's gonna be a youth wrestler. We just team gave team it. Team. We just gave his phone number <laughs> out to everybody on the, on the video. Though. Sorry, Russell. Russell Britton could be uh, could be a kid's dad who's excited, uh, or it could be the actual kid. Um, so either way, it's just it's just people who are interested, people who are uh, possibly we just want more information on the wrestling club, the grappling club that we're going to be doing. The grappling club will be taught um, taught and rooted in the Neil Melanson grappling system. I've been training under Neil for a long, long time. So my, my vast knowledge uh, will be passed along. And the wrestling club is gonna be ran by Division One wrestlers. So got a couple guys in mind. The, uh, the job is still open. So I gotta do some hiring, do some vetting, do some, uh, take some applications. I'm taking a couple applications and getting guys, making sure they are A, men of character, B, know their stuff in wrestling, and C, um, believe in doing something great and giving back. So that's what we're going to do. Does Russell win anything? 
Does Russell win anything? Yeah. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> we should we should give away the, the first kid. Hayden should win something. That's true. Our man Hayden. Shout out to Hayden. Shout out to Hayden Thompson. Important question. Can I get another slice? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> eat as much as you want, dude. Eat the rest of it. <laughs> so we did a we did a Facebook live yesterday and got a pretty good response. We had two we had we raised two hundred and twenty bucks for an organization in Nashville that provides over 50,000 books per year to financially underprivileged children. Um, and I told them if they donated, I would send them a, um, or no, I didn't tell them if they donated, I would tell them I would send them a poster. But there was a couple people who hopped on insight.me, E-N-C-Y-T-E, dot me to order one of my camp t-shirts these weren't even people who were coming to the camp i've been doing a wrestling clinic to benefit book them so i told them if they bought a t-shirt and their address was not in tennessee i would send them a poster so i'm shipping out six posters today so if you're going to do stuff like that you got to be a minute of your word so here they come so these people People literally on a whim. I hopped on Facebook Live, talked for 30 minutes. I told them to donate. You just stepped on a snail. Oh, God dang it. <laughs> you just stepped a on a snail. <laughs> Give me that. Bring it up. Bring it up. Hey, listen. My man Myron just demolished a snail. I didn't mean it. Show him. <laughs> Shout out to Cameron Shout out to Cameron <laughs> So we were on a Facebook Live last night, and I clicked on the button that said "Donate to Book 'Em," and literally uh, raised 220 bucks. And then I also had a couple people buy T-shirts from Insight.me/Chandler Clinic. So they bought a T-shirt that just says Chandler Wrestling Clinic. They're not even going to go to the clinic because um, I know because they're all from Missouri. But I got posters I got to send out to them. So the question is, where's my truck? <laughs> No, yeah, I was looking for that. Is that one? Oh, yeah. South Park always is nice. No, actually, when I moved here, when I moved here in 2014 or whatever it was, 2013, when I moved here in 2013, all the guys I was training with, I told them I was moving to South Park, and they all said, what the heck, man? Why are you moving there? It's the ghetto. So this used to be a pretty rough area. I mean, now, literally, right now, all these houses right here, this right here by Balboa Park. All these houses are going for one to two million dollars. Hey. Yeah, so this is a, I mean, it's become a really nice little area. Um, when you get in a couple streets in where I'm at, they're a little bit cheaper, obviously, but <laughs> uh, not much, unfortunately. But it's good for resale, so selling my house and moving to Tennessee, so Ooh. make a little bit of, make a little bit of that California cash, all that, all that money that California's been taken from me in taxes. I can take through real estate, take back through real estate. Um, but no, South Park has changed a ton over the last about ten years. People have said so. So it's become a oh, it's become a a nice little trendy little area, little neighborhood. Good restaurants, um, very friendly, almost homely type of mentality so can you open that <laughs> okay okay i wasn't sure if i should so you just follow your fans to try to some of them when i can hi this is arthur please leave your name number and a brief message and i will get back to you as soon as possible thank you very much i chickened out because it said arthur yeah, it's his dad. I know. I don't know what I'm going to say, but I'm going to find out. Sorry, we could not successfully connect to this person. Come on, Sergio. Be my, be my number one. I'm sorry, but the person you called has a voice mailbox that has not been set up yet. Hayden. Here's Hayden. Okay. Sorry, we could not successfully connect to this person's voice mailbox. Please try again. Now connecting you to this Come person's voice mailbox. Yeah, just take Hello, this is Parker's phone. Leave a message after the beep. Beep. The mail 
Oh my gosh! Goodbye. We finally got it. We finally got one. And oh my goodness, Parker. This person cannot be reached at the moment. Please leave a message after the tone. Oh, no. After you leave a message, you can modify it by pressing pound. Hey, DeMonte, this is Michael Chandler. I was calling because you filled out uh, your information about the wrestling, the wrestling team, the wrestling club, the grappling club. Uh, you didn't specify whether you were interested in the wrestling or the grappling, but either way, I look forward to connecting with you in the future. Um, thank you for giving me your information. I will be reaching out to you um, in the coming weeks and months to keep you up to date on what's going on. So thank you, man. I really appreciate it. And uh, I will see you at the top when I move to Tennessee. See ya. <laughs> yeah, and that's how it works. <laughs> and let's just keep it going. Let's just freaking keep it going. So what are the pugs' names? Um, the little one to the right is Wrigley. Uh, the one with the dark... Dark faced there looking at you just sat down as Gilligan. Mm -hmm. He's a mama's boy. And then dad's little stud is the, <laughs> the nerd in the middle, uh, Harvey. <laughs> so why are you pugs? Oh, I didn't. I didn't even like pugs before I met Bree, and then now I love them. But Bree loved pugs before we got together, and uh, that's what's going on. That's Kent. That's the that's the property manager of the warehouse I'm looking at in Nashville. He's been absolutely a gem to work with. He's been so knowledgeable. I love people like that. Like that's the kind of people that you want to find in life. That not only are they, you can just tell he's a good person. He's just a he's a good dude, but he knows his stuff. I've been trying for three months to to hammer out and nail out a space in this big huge warehouse and I've gotten done more done in the last 72 hours with Kent than I have in the last three months you know so it's so awesome to find people who are passionate about what they do they're just thorough maybe he doesn't love what he does maybe it's not his passion in life but he does it to the best of his ability you know what I'm saying like even if and that's what it's about though I mean you're not always going to enjoy every single thing you do in life but it's up to you whether or not you give your full self. You give that you give that extra little bit of effort, and that's literally what this guy has done over the last three days, and has blown me away. And this those kind of people that deserve great things to happen to him in life.